Wednesday night, southwest winds around 10 knots. Gusts up to 20 knots early in the evening. Waves 2 feet or less. Thursday, southwest winds 5 to 10 knots. Waves 2 feet or less. Thursday night, northwest winds 5 to 10 knots. Waves 2 feet or less. A chance of showers. Friday, north winds 5 to 10 knots. Waves 2 feet or less. A chance of showers. Friday night, northwest winds 5 to 10 knots. Waves 2 feet or less. Saturday, northwest winds 5 to 10 knots. Waves 2 feet or less. Saturday night, north winds around 5 knots. Waves 2 feet or less. Winds and waves higher in and near thunderstorms. Here is the area weather summary. A cold front will cross the region tonight, bringing a return for more seasonable fall-like weather to the area. A weak wave of low pressure will head along the east coast Thursday night into Friday, but high pressure brings a return to dry weather for the weekend. A coastal storm may form over New England into the early portion of next week. The following is a flood statement. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly has issued a flood advisory for northern Newcastle County in northern Delaware, southwestern Delaware County in southeastern Pennsylvania until 7.30 p.m. At 3.26 p.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain. Minor flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the advisory area. Some locations that may experience flooding include Wilmington, Newark, Chester, Finnsville, Carnegie Point, Ellesmere, Newcastle, Hens Grove, Delaware City, Newport, Arden, and Wilmington Manor. This includes the following highways, Interstate 95 in Pennsylvania between mile marker 0 and 1, Interstate 95 in Delaware between mile marker 2 and 23. A flood advisory means river or stream flows are elevated or ponding of water in urban or other areas is occurring or is imminent. At 3 p.m. at Eastern Maryland, it was cloudy. The temperature was 75 degrees, the dew point 73 degrees, and the relative humidity 94%. The wind was southeast at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.81 inches and in falling. At Dover, Delaware, light rain was falling. The temperature was 73 degrees, the dew point 73 degrees, and the relative humidity 100%. The wind was south at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.77 inches in falling. At Baltimore Washington International Airport, it was partly sunny. The temperature was 81 degrees, the dew point 65 degrees, and the relative humidity 58%. The wind was southeast at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.74 inches and falling. At Wilmington Airport, heavy rain and fog were reported. The temperature was 72 degrees, the dew point 69 degrees, and the relative humidity 90%. The wind was south at 9 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.79 inches and falling. Here are some reports across Delmarva at 3 p.m. At Ocean City, rain was falling with a temperature of 73. At Aberdeen, it was partly sunny with a temperature of 79. It was cloudy with a temperature of 79 at Georgetown, Delaware, 75 at Annapolis, 78 at Salisbury, and 75 at Wallace Island, Virginia. Other nearby locations at 3 p.m. It was partly sunny with a temperature of 79 at Washington, D.C., and 82 at Norfolk. It was cloudy with a temperature of 80 at Richmond and 73 at New York City. At Philadelphia, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 72. Once again, at 3 p.m. at Eastern Maryland, it was 75 degrees under cloudy skies. At Dover, Delaware, it was 73 degrees with light rain. At Baltimore, Washington International Airport, it was 81 degrees under partly sunny skies. And at Wilmington Airport, it was 72 degrees with heavy rain and fog. Here is a nearby buoy report at 3 p.m. At Thomas Point Light, the air temperature was 72 degrees. The winds were from the southeast at 12 knots. The water temperature was 72 degrees. This is No Weather Radio All Hazard for Eastern Shore of Maryland. Station WXK 97 from Sotolaresville, Maryland on a frequency of 162.5 megahertz. The current time is 4.01 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Here is the official National Weather Service forecast for Lower Delaware Bay. Small craft advisory in effect from 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening through Wednesday morning. 
This afternoon, south winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Waves 2 feet or less, then around 3 feet length. A slight chance of thunderstorms. Showers. Tonight, south winds 15 to 20 knots, becoming southwest 10 to 15 knots after midnight, then becoming west late. Gusts up to 25 knots. Waves around 3 feet. Showers likely with a slight chance of thunderstorms early in the evening, then showers with a chance of thunderstorms overnight. Visibility 1 to 3 nautical miles overnight. Wednesday, west winds around 50 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Waves around 3 feet until late afternoon, then 2 feet or less. Showers early in the morning, then a chance of showers in the late morning and early afternoon. Wednesday night, southwest winds 10 to 50 knots. Gusts up to 20 knots early in the evening. Waves 2 feet or less. Thursday, southwest winds 5 to 10 knots. The following is a flood statement. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly has issued a flood advisory for northwestern Cumberland County in southern New Jersey, west central Gloucester County in southern New Jersey, central Salem County in southern New Jersey, until 7.15 p.m. At 4.02 p.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain. Minor flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the advisory area. Some locations that may experience flooding include Bridgeton, Salem, Woodstown, Holloway, Canton, Swedesboro, Greenwich, Shiloh, Sea Rock Farms, Newport Meadows, and Hancock Bridge. This includes the following highways, New Jersey Turnpike near Exit 1. A flood advisory means river or stream flows are elevated or ponding of water in urban or other areas is occurring or is imminent. Here is the official National Weather Service forecast for Lower Delaware Bay. Small craft advisory in effect from 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening through Wednesday morning. This afternoon, south winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Waves 2 feet or less, then around 3 feet late. A slight chance of thunderstorms. Showers. Tonight, south winds 15 to 20 knots, becoming southwest 10 to 15 knots after midnight, then becoming west late. Gusts up to 25 knots. Waves around 3 feet. Showers likely with a slight chance of thunderstorms early in the evening, then showers with a chance of thunderstorms overnight. Visibility 1 to 3 nautical miles overnight. Wednesday, west winds around 50 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Waves around 3 feet until late afternoon, then 2 feet or less. Showers early in the morning, then a chance of showers in the late morning and early afternoon. Wednesday night, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots. Gusts up to 20 knots early in the evening. Waves 2 feet or less. Thursday, southwest wind 5 to 10 knots. Waves 2 feet or less. Thursday night, southwest winds around 5 knots, becoming northwest after midnight. Waves 2 feet or less. A chance of showers. Friday, north winds 5 to 10 knots. Waves 2 feet or less. A chance of showers. Friday night, northwest winds around 10 knots. Waves 2 feet or less. A chance of showers until midnight. Saturday, northwest winds 5 to 10 knots. Waves 2 feet or less. Saturday night, north winds 5 to 10 knots. Waves 2 feet or less. Winds and waves higher in and near thunderstorms. At Chesapeake Bay at Colchester, low tide is at 1.42 p.m. Tuesday. High tide is at 7.35 p.m. Tuesday. Low tide is at 1.37 a.m. Wednesday. High tide is at 7.57 a.m. Wednesday. At Chesapeake Bay at Cambridge, high tide is at 4.30 p.m. Tuesday. Low tide is at 10.57 p.m. Tuesday. High tide is at 4.57 a.m. Wednesday. Low tide is at 11.34 a.m. Wednesday. Here is the official National Weather Service forecast for Upper Delaware Bay. Small craft advisory in effect from 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening through Wednesday morning.